guys, uh, welcome back to Work in Project Hobbies again. My name is Edwin from Malaysia. Today we is kind of like a work in progress lab for our Chaos Shirtful project. If you haven't seen the first video, please check it out. Uh, so today, what we're going to do is we're going to change this into to this. See, previously I already have uh, halfway painted, so I'm going to pick up where I left. So uh, last time I painted base coat of bronze color and you can see now I also uh, have base coat the scar with dark brown. So to add more vibrance to this building, I'm going to add those uh, stripes at the beside or those pattern with a uh, very vibrant gold. If you guys using Citadel color, actually those uh, Liberator gold also work very well. Just that by this gold will be more to the green side. So later I can uh, and wash it and maybe if I like to add more vibrant of the changes of the color I can add other gold also. So for the scalp I just uh, simple I just put a, a dry brush with uh, technically uh, scalp white then you just slowly dry brush upwards and you catch all the details and the scalp will just pop up so I just doing this for every single scalp so here easily probably I painted maybe more than 100 or even 200 scalps just for this past few weeks just to slowly highlight for this corn tower I believe corn will be very very happy as there are so many trophies and also there are so many scalps for him so it's truly deserved for the scout god or the blood god and a uh, future which I display with any demonades or not even demonades even uh, blood letters or even uh, juggernaut it will look damn cool even to display side by side as for the side because previously when I went on base color I didn't I actually neglected the side so here I'm gonna paint a bronze but I actually used two different color bronze one will be show a lighter tone and another one will be darker which is more purplish. Uh, but this is just to make sure to give like a like a visual texture so we can feel oh the metal will be more in depth uh, so this is the brighter one so I, I mostly just to fill up those uh, spots which I missed and I'll try not to uh, paint up those scowl uh, which is when you paint with the tackle and here we're gonna uh, take it also mainly using dry brush and to highlight it so, so the spike will be look more shiny For the tower top, I'm going to paint those scouts or those uh, decorations in also vibrant gold to stand up like a, like a crown or the horn. So here, uh, we're going to dry brush back because when I dry brush the red color, I might cover some details. So here, I kind of like touch up after touch up and later, I'm also going to be wash it with aggressive shade to, to fill in the gaps and to, you can see those details will be popping up. So uh, we shall not forget at the top floor also there's a window. So there we also we're gonna paint it bronze and we we're gonna highlight it. So we still and we will not cover any details anything, and uh, we will look damn great. So I can't wait we finish it and we can show you the end product of this.
For this Bastion Overlord, since I'm trying to do a Conti red color, I think I mainly use two colors. Uh, first color is actually red, but it's more to the purple tone. Uh, then after that, I use orange, which is trying to uh, bring up the burning hue. Of course, it's also to try to show the brighter red almost in the flaming. So here, I just uh, uh, paint from the darker tone, slowly build up to the lighter and lighter and in the middle to make it blend each other because I have not tried to explore any airbrush yet or just through normal dry brush so with normal dry brush I just uh, mix with it with the ratio slowly increase maybe starting 1 to 1 then maybe 1 to 2 then slowly to bring up to more smooth transition so here is the result I hope everyone like it Color for this the first tower, of course, I will try with the red. Of course, why red? Come on, it's of course Chaos God. What's the type of for the Chaos God? Of course, it's the coin, the Blood God. So, the main color of Blood God is red, so definitely the first tower I'm gonna paint is red color. And probably uh, the other walls also I'll follow this color scheme. So, this is more like a, a reference on past color. But of course, other towers I will try to match with other different Chaos God. So if it's Nurgle it will definitely be green, the Zinj should be blue, and of course our favorite Slanish will be probably purple. And the remaining four more towers actually another uh, for plus one. I'll probably I'll uh, reserve one for Asut, uh, probably the new coming Wastor, uh, four horns, and of course one of my favorite mana. Tower is way more challenging than I expected. Because you can see it's insanely crazy a lot of mark videos, man. Look at it. Uh, actually, I could just dry brush okay. Uh, to be frank, this is the black. I probably mostly dry brush. I I hardly wash anything except for the blue. Uh, skull also just dry brush. Because to be honest, there's so many uh, details. And not only that, you can check out every single flaws. There's also skulls. Uh, I will give up a little closer photo. So uh, technically. One thing go about GW design because everything is doing a little more in the design. So you can stack up. If you have enough tower, probably I could try also. I could make as tall as I am. Because it, it can stack unlimitedly to the top. And of course with the highest tower, I guess because this is quite heavy, quite uh, unstable. If it, if it doesn't have this small click, you can see here this small thing. Later, this small thing is able to just nice fit in the box. So it will not so unstable. Instead, this will be quite loose. So probably can be can be fixed if you you put something in to make it more stable. Maybe a better raw or probably magnet. Uh, 
or somebody might just do it. So uh, overall, I think this is one of the very great design. It's one of the best modular design designed by GW. A crazy amount of details, really cool. And I can't wait to paint up every single thing. And I I believe this project will be take quite a while, of course. Wow, just just one tower that count down. And I remember when I started from this project, I actually uh basically paint up the base color. So this is just to touch up, highlight, and of course I miss whichever scale details I try to paint up. I did a little wash on the on the on the bowl and uh, technically just uh, painting up. So overall I'm quite happy with it. So hope the next probably another 8 tower will be finished in no time and I'll keep you guys updated so uh, if you really like this content or you really like the QR strip project please like, subscribe and comment and uh, follow this channel and together we will build an empire for Archeon and of course for the QR so all here the blood god and thank you for watching okay bye guys